Well, hello everyone. Good morning. Here we are. I said I'd uh, delay yesterday's live stream until this morning because I wanted to make sure that we didn't have any distractions. But unfortunately, it looks like the US election will continue for some time. But what I want to talk about today is just the basics of business building, taking back your power. Because I just feel like right now, too many of us are giving you know, our power, our future, our potential, we're giving it away. We're giving it away cheap. We're giving it away to the governments. We're giving it away to employers. And really, you know what? We only have one life. But you can just sit on your laurels. You can take your time. You can say, I will wait till after, you know, the election sorts itself out. I will wait until after Christmas. I'll wait until I get to this next position in my job so that, you know, I've got a safe fallback if things don't work out. But you know what we're doing when we do this? Robbing ourselves, robbing ourselves of our future, of our potential, of that, that quality of life that's going to benefit those around us when we are successful in business. I mean, I'm, I'm only talking from experience. I made these tough decisions. I continue to make tough decisions as a business owner. It's like no other industry. It's not like being an employee where you're told how to think, you're told where to sh when to show up, you're told how to, how to act, what to believe. I mean, I can tell you anything that I believe right now within reason. And, you know, there's no recourse. This is my platform. I can tell you, I, you know, I would vote for Trump. And so what? <laughs> you know, if you don't like it, start your own group. But that's the beauty of living a life on your terms. So I just want to encourage people today and give, give them some direction. Just get, let's get back to basics. Let's just get back to this is a pathway forward. Starts with belief, starts with being inspired, starts with having some faith and starts with some vision of your future. And so, you know, you can look at the, at the situation in the, in the world right now around the coronavirus, you can look at the glass half empty and you can say, it's not the time for me. It's not the time to get, get it into business. It's not the time to start planning. Or you can look at it from a different perspective and say the cups, the cups, it, it, it is, it is half full. There's opportunity now that it's unparalleled. It's actually a good time to buy. It's a good time to invest. It's a good time to plan. You know, um, 2020, many people will agree it hasn't been a good year for a lot of people. Doesn't mean that it won't be defining. Doesn't mean it can't be great. And so it's just about putting things in, in order, you know, getting, getting a plan for the, for the future. So that's what we've been doing this week with, um, with Sally, with, uh, with Haley. I mean, these are people that came to me to open coffee shops, but we put them through a process and you know what, they're going into other fields. They're going into, areas of business that are more suitable to their experience, to their story, to their identity, to what they're good at. Uh, and you know, that could be you. You might be in a situation where you're not sure what, what business direction to take. You might know if it's coffee, you know, the idea of consulting might, might sound appealing. Um, but it really begins with taking a step in the right direction getting that inspiration, getting that direction, getting someone who believes in you and uh, the world will look like a completely different place in a short amount of time. I promise you. Emails are blowing up. So guys, yeah, that's really what it's about today. It's, it's just about getting that, uh, you know, I just wanted to get, get on here today and encourage some people that look the future, your future, it can be great. It can be rewarding. You can have that freedom that you want where you're, you are your own boss, but it starts with you. The most difficult time, the most critical time to your whole business future lies within those first few steps and 
whether you're prepared to make them, you know, and, and with who you're prepared to trust. So uh, if that's you, then I encourage you today, do something out of your comfort zone, do something that is powerful, that you can go to bed tonight and say, I took a step, I took a step in the right direction. And, uh, you know, you can rest knowing that if you continue to do that, if you continue to make those tough decisions for an easier tomorrow, they will add up. You will get momentum. You will get on a right path. And, uh, you know, you can impact lives positively, your own, your kids. I have been there every day almost for my kids. Like my oldest is 14. My youngest is uh, 11. And I'm proud of the fact that I'm grateful that I have just had such quality time with them where I've been able to call the shots. You know, if I want to take a morning off and we go to Noosa or, you know, every afternoon about four o'clock, I stop work, you know, I set a time in my diary. I don't take calls. I take the dog and the young fella and we go and we kick the ball. And that that's a time that, you know, I mean, that is so valuable, but I wouldn't have that today if I hadn't made those decisions, if I hadn't have got the help I needed, if I hadn't found a path, if I hadn't had the, you know, the courage to back myself. So what can you control today? We can't control the election outcome. We can't control whether it's Trump or Biden. Uh, you know, we can't control the coronavirus, uh, but... You know, you can take steps to really control your business future. Okay, so this week we're running the uh, the introduction to consulting and, of course, 